Hey, Judy, what's up? V, hey. can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Yeah, man. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Belong to a nomad family, too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Yeah. After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we Your do... leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a massive heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. 
They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. They're like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. is one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad and more than it's look we have to move quickly we need to hide the car 
Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. I'm in position. I have you in range. near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. building. Watch. Vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams.
Pan Am. I found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am. But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Come on. Family's waiting. Uh. So, oh, how yeah. is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we... Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. All right, damn it. That's it.
storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Right. Sell us your land. You don't... Hey, it worked! We have lights! I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. Oh, so, just to whack it back in place, huh? See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything our camp locations routes off loading points if they knew what state we're in one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us and if you had mounted a raid of your own well that would have been the <sighs> it's not the time for this you're both exhausted maybe you're right we can't hope to handle the raffins alone so you would sell us out to biotechnica Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. We're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. 
Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? Nope. Mm. Mm hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plane, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You got to agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul... Thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing... The Wraiths, the Raid... It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Elder Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. 
And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Much remains. Let the hey, V, come here. Them. Let the rain. A little closer now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. What? Uh huh. And where? <laughs> You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Now, I don't know how it was in your clan. But in the Aldecaldos, everything stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rake. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. This place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy.
Holy shit, Mitch. What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here and send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Saul won't like this. Blasting a good car, it's a terrible waste. I'll tell him it was an accident. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah. Nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch. Why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen. There's a... A few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right.
bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? V... She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to... <sighs> Fuck. If I had just known, I'd have... Checked her pulse? V... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City. Where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. 
Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Yeah. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up. Holler on the hollow.